Hey, hey everybody, it's Nikki here with Black Tone Vintage and Antiques, and I don't do many of these, but I have enough left over to actually do a haul. Usually I go out sourcing on Saturdays, and whatever I get on that Saturday usually ends up in my live sales for the week, so you get more of a preview than a haul. So I have enough stuff left over, because I hit some money holes. So stick around and see what I got. Now, the first couple things I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you where they're going to be and when they're going to be. Um, there's a group of us getting together at the end of May, May 29th to be exact, and we're going to be doing a, oh, I'm trying to remember the exact name of it, Wicked, Wild, and Weird Oddities Extravaganza, or it's something like that. Um, and there'll be a bunch of us, there'll be static drop pops, and you'll just kind of flow from one to the other. So I'll show you a couple things that'll probably end up in that sale that I found. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. Look at how creepy, they are fantastic. The fact that his arm, his sleeve is all shredded, they're like little zombie bride and groom. So they're the little celluloid guys in some very worn out clothing. So these guys are fabulous. Y'all know I usually think dolls are creepy, but this is pretty creepy. There's a difference. I also found this guy. He's my new friend. Meet Leroy. That's really not his name. This is a vintage Trader Vic's uh, stirrer. He was a, a cocktail stirrer, but he has been broken off. But isn't he amazing? I love him. Look at his little butt. He got a little bum. He's just, there's just something kind of cool and wacky and awesome about him. So he'll probably end up in that wicked weird sale too. <clears throat> now I always pick up Christmas when I find it, no matter what time of the year. So I have Christmas playing cards from 19, I think these are 1988. Yeah, 19, no, 1986. 1986 and these have four suits reindeer snowman elf and christmas tree they are new old stock have never been opened in fabulous condition so you know christmas in july maybe another christmas thing i found is christmas treats from the 80s bring back a little bit of my childhood being a small little whippersnapper and when this book was printed in 1981 i was old like six years old so, boop, 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 boop. I got this guy too. Got some really interesting recipes in here from the 80s. Not necessarily killer graphics, but what I like is they're in black and white. And you can always color them in if you feel so inclined. Ooh, Christmas candy. A popcorn house. I can think of better uses for popcorn. Not gonna lie. Marzipan, snowman, and holly leaves. I'm making myself hungry. So this will be out there. Oh, look at that angel riding a spoon. Love it. Speaking of angels, I have never ever found one and let alone intact. Her wings are there, her cute little face. She's got a little, I'm gonna call it an ivy leaf. I think she's kind of a harvesty girl. She does not have like a November or October but she's carrying a nice little abundance of goodies. There's her stamp on the bottom. She's in fabulous condition. I never find them. I must have channeled Roy when I found this guy. I've also lately been really, really drawn to um, minis, miniatures, tiny things, tiny things. Why? Because they're easy to ship. That's the secret. But beyond that, I just think anything in miniature form is adorable. So this isn't necessarily super mini, but it's kind of mini. So we've got our cute little angel blowing his little trumpet or flute. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's a trumpet. Maybe it's a trombone. Trombone, that's it. It is a tiny little bud vase. And it is made in occupied Japan, which is kind of awesome. So late 40s, that's when this guy would have been done. He's just, a, he's a tiny guy. See, just a couple inches. I also found some weed whimsies. Some of these I've never seen before. And I picked up ones that were kind of summertime. So I found a little honey hole of weed whimsies. So I got a golden retriever guy. He's adorable. I got a 
John Deere. It's actually not John Deere, but I got a little tractor man there. A little red tractor. Got a light blue lighthouse. Light blue lighthouse there. Got a, I'm going to call it a seagull. That's what I'm going to call it. But I could be really, really wrong. Once again, super light blue, like Robin's egg blue seagull. So you can tell there's slightly different colors between the seagull and the lighthouse. I love how the seagull is just as big as the lighthouse too. Ooh, I'm, I dropped it. I've got a white sailboat. And then these guys aren't really some, oh wait, no, wait, I found this one more summer guy down. He's hiding. A little tiny seahorse, a little orange seahorse. These are the guys that aren't summery. We've got the zebra or zebra. We have a zebra. I want to say it like that. I want to be fancy. And two little kitties. Oh, aren't they sweet? So those are my minis. And of course, I did pick up two brooches. Um, one of them I'll give you a good show here. Check this guy out. This guy is humongous. And yes, it glows. Let's turn off my light. And yes, it glows. Ooh, isn't that amazing? I think it's awesome. So this little bad boy here. Ooh, I almost knocked over my drink. Let me turn my light back on. Hold on. Boo! is a coral brooch. So a very large and weighty coral brooch. So this that guy I found. Very excited when I found that. I got it in the barn. Guess what? The barn reopened everyone. Best, best deals at the barn. I did get a lot of ephemera too. I'll show you that in a minute, but I want to show you another guy who might end up in my oddity sale. Then again, he might also end up in my Thursday sale, which is going to be with Claudia and John and Sugar Honey Iced Tea. I think it's Sean, Skunky Junk. So Sean, John, Claudia, and me on Thursday. And it's going to be a wood, metal, and stone sale. And I found this little guy. I think whole new definition to the word weenus, everyone. Whole new little definition. He's a little pea and angel. I love him. You've seen these bigger, you've seen these smaller. If you are a Money Pit fan, you recognize this statue. It does say Bruxelles on the bottom there. And he is a little weighty brass guy. Um, I don't know if I saw somewhere that he was a bottle opener, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's just a miniature bronze statue of a famous statue. So he may end up in the oddity sale. We'll see. He might end up in the metal sale. We'll see. Stay tuned for that. And I've got this guy right here. He's just cute. I had to pick him up. Made in Japan. He's a little toothpick holder guy. He has his Japan stamp on the bottom. And I just thought he was really kind of sweet and cute. And I know Claudia and I did this bottle sale, um, glass sale. If you've seen our glass with class sale, which is Mondays, every Monday at one o'clock in the afternoon, we do about an hour. Um, we did a whole thing on bottles. I found a very interesting, very mid-century looking bottle. I have no idea what this would have contained. Um, it kind of has, I don't think it was a screw top. It might have had some kind of pull top. Uh, in the past, it's just a really interesting shaped bottle. I love the dark amber color of it. Uh, it does say that you cannot refill it. You cannot return it. It is non-refundable. I have no idea what kind of bottle it is. On the bottom, it does have an N in a square, which I haven't found that mark yet, yet being the operative word, because you never know. I might find it. Hmm. Okay, I promised you some ephemera. I got some really neat ephemera. So I found a whole fistful, so saying handful, fistful of these Useful Birds of America cards. These are from 1930s, 1938 or so. Arm & Hammer, I guess, had a run of these kind of like trading cards. And they come with all the writing and the information on the back. And I have a nice little stack of these. 
really great for you uh, scrapbookers and junk journalers or just uh, multimedia artists. Also found Warplanes of the World. And I have to check these out and see where and when these are from. Um, some of them come from cigarettes. This one's a cigarette card. So that's an airplane. And like I said, this one, ooh, this one is a cigarette card. Totally held that upside down. That's okay. Um, this one, these here, so that first one was different than the rest of them. These here are slightly different. This is, it says Turkey. So this is a Turkish plane. Uh, 24 different planes to complete the set. Trade with your friends. Get a complete set of warplane pictures for yourself. So I got to look these guys up a little bit more to see when these are from. But I kind of thought they were interesting. We got a plane from England. Another plane from England. So I got those. And my photo lady is back open. So I got a whole, look at how many I got. A whole bunch Whole bunch of cabinet cards or the minis now some of these are really interesting and I'm seeing let's see this I'm pretty sure is a hidden mother it's gonna be very hard to see you can see just this right here this black outline I am pretty sure that's mama holding baby just because of the way baby's sitting so we got a hidden mama photo there these are neat I'm gonna say these kind of go together I have, what, I have three of these I have three of these these are very different cards i love the ornate design around the photos um they feel like tin types so i've got three of these and on the back they have an interesting stamp two cent stamp i don't know why someone did that and then here's a gentleman same design same photographer same photographer these two are the same photographer and like i said for some reason they put a stamp on the back of them i don't know why maybe somebody mailed them that way and then we have another one of another lady, and this is a different one. This is done by Gem Miniatures. Uh, taken within the patent multiplying camera, only at Jordan Brothers. Ferrotype rooms over Granis and Co. Bank in Utica, New York. So I have three of these with these really pretty ornate designs on them. Those are neat. I got a Union War Soldier. Don't find these all the time. Got a Union War Soldier van there. And I always, always pick up when I see them, the kid photos. So this is Miss Nellie, and I can't really read the last name, age five. It's cursive and not very good cursive. I will say that. That's on the back. Cursive, not very good cursive. Like I said, I always pick up the little kitty photos when I find them. She's adorable. Here's another really neat, ornate set of cabinet cards right there. I think those guys are really fabulous. My son thinks he looks like Leonardo DiCaprio. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think he looks like Leo. Love me a good Leo. Then we've got, then we've got my stern ladies. Like these ladies are, don't mess with these ladies. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this one looks like Whistler's mother. This one just looks like that, oh, that old bitty you don't want to bump into on the street. Like she would have smacked you with a ruler for sure. Because she's a little scary. And I got one larger one. And it was more because of the lace cap that she was wearing. And the fact that she had gotten to the age that she did. I'm really thinking this is definitely an 1860s, 1850s kind of photo. So a really nice handful of photos. And rounding out my ephemera round, because whenever I see it, I pick it up. I love ephemera. I love the his the idea of the history, the idea that paper has lasted so long as it's translated down the years, and that's why I like it. I like this for a whole different reason. This is 1978 set of Ziggy cards, and both decks are there and in very good shape. I just think these are these are fun little cards. You see, here's the one. Wishing for a pot of rainbow or a pot of bones. Gotta love that. It's me and Nyx. I'm wishing for gold. She's wishing for bones at the end of the rainbow. And then chasing the rainbow. So like I said, they're all there. I picked up a couple of interesting cookbooks. I've got traditional Scottish cookery. This one is from the 80s, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. 1970. No. 
I don't know, maybe 1987. I don't know, there's a bunch of dates in here. But this has anything and everything if you wanted to cook like a Scottish person. And high tea and supper recipes. High tea and supper recipes from England. I like that it has the spine like this. Um, This one does not say when either, but this was published in England as well. And this just has everything you could want for high tea in it recipes. So if you're looking to sausage pie, if you're looking to branch out your culinary background, that's the way to do it. And last but certainly not least, a book. And it looks like a very plain book. The spine is kind of chewed up, beat up. Same thing with the corners here. But we have rough cut pages. I love that. I had to pick this up and I pick these up whenever I find them because they usually go very well on eBay, but I'm going to give you all a first crack at it this time around. Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass and it is illustrated. So this is a fabulous book and old. This one does not have, and I don't know why it doesn't have it, but it doesn't, it does not have a uh, date publishing date but it is printed in New York by and I'll probably have to look up the publisher to see when it has been published by JJ Little and Ives Company in New York so a couple things here that still need a little bit of research so there you go that was it that was my mini haul actually maybe not so many because I showed you quite a few things and I thank you for sticking around and hanging out with me I do live sales every Sunday Monday and Tuesday uh I try to drop videos a couple times a week. Sometimes that works out in my favor. Sometimes it doesn't. But uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. And until next time, stay swanky and stay classy.